What's up Drop Services, Dylan Sigley here. In this video here, we're going to be going in depth into what drop servicing is. I'm literally answering every single question there is when it comes to drop servicing that you guys have sent through and we're gonna be breaking it all down so by the end of this video, you understand everything there is to know about drop servicing. This is really the complete guide and the only one out there right now because hey, I've been doing this for five years now. I have multiple drop servicing businesses driving six figures. I'm constantly showing you guys my results, but you don't just want to see that I'm getting great results with drop servicing. You want to actually get the knowledge that I have, right? And I'm happy to share that with you. Let's go deep with this, answer every single question you have. And by the end of this video, you're going to be an expert when it comes to drop servicing. So let's go. Also guys, before we jump into the video, don't forget to like the video, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that when I release more marketing strategies, tactics, and stories, you'll get notified and I'll get a lot more views, which is awesome, right? So don't forget as well to comment below if you come up with any topics, questions along the way. I'll personally reply to you, might even make a video about it, and we all win. So let's jump into the video and turn you into an expert when it comes to drop servicing. Let's go. Okay guys, here we are inside my laptop of freedom where the business lives and the business is and my office is basically right wherever I go this is my office and we're gonna be breaking down everything you need when it comes to drop servicing information so I've literally jam-packed this video with all of the questions that have ever come through um, so you're going to know everything there is to know the first one is what is drop servicing right that's a really great question so most people are really doubtful that it's possible to earn six figures without working all day in an office right managing a business requires you you to work all day every day right but is that true you know the truth is in my view and what I've seen from other people what I've lived is that you can run a business without having to invest too much of your time you know with drop servicing you're able to leverage the time freedom and location given to us by the internet to contact decision makers around the world and sell them the services they need while making a nice profit for yourself plus drop servicing doesn't require you to pay for expensive office space equipment or hire employees like conventional businesses do. And that's really the reason that we're able to make such a high profit margin and that we're able to get such a high demand from clients around the world. So drop servicing involves selling high quality services to businesses primarily. It's mostly business to business, right? So we're a business serving other businesses. And drop servicing is similar to subcontracting or outsourcing. You provide a service and outsource the labor required for that service to freelancers from countries with lower costs of living. Since you're paying a low rate for a high quality service, you're able to achieve high profit margins on your service sales. So by hiring cheap but skilled freelancers, you can fulfill a service to your customer's satisfaction while also offering cheaper prices than your competitors. This gives your business a competitive advantage when it comes to marketing your service. So the next question of course is drop servicing versus drop shipping. You know, what is the difference, right? Because similar words it sounds like you just made a misspelling or something uh, when you see drop servicing um, especially because not many people have spoken about it until the last kind of few months really but drop servicing is a spin on the popular internet business model drop shipping drop shipping involves taking a customer's order and shipping details and giving them to retailers or wholesalers that can fulfill that order and ship goods directly to the customer with drop servicing you take a customer's order for a service and you fulfill the labor required to deliver that service with the help of freelancers okay so it's sometimes referred to as subcontracting and outsourcing right to keep things simple though the definition of drop shipping is selling a product so smartwatches or clothes manufactured and delivered by a third party for profit and then drop servicing is selling a service writing animation design produced and delivered by a third party for profit right so how does drop servicing work okay 
let me break it down in detail for you here. Drop servicing involves outsourcing or subcontracting a service to freelancers who can fulfill the service. Your role is to find clients or even better, have clients come to you and focus on selling them the service at a price high enough that you make a significant profit from outsourcing the service. So for example, let's say John is the founder of a health management company, right? Or a health supplement affiliate website. And he is looking for 15, 1000 word articles about vitamins, minerals, and other health related topics, right? Whatever it may be. And John wants to hire a content writing company to fulfill that need that he has, right? But he's found that the prices are too high to get that done for him with most people quoting $100 per 1000 words. So now you come along with your drop service and you offer your article writing service for $50 per 1000 words. So you hire a freelance writer from Upwork or Freelancer or whatever to write the articles for $20 per 1000 words, meaning you're profiting $30 per article, right? So the total cost for John is $750. Your outsourcing cost is $300 and that makes your profit $450. So that's 60% profit margin, right? And that's pretty low compared to most what drop servicing businesses do. And you know, super high and super lucrative if you scale that business model, right? So super exciting. And that's why drop services love drop servicing. I really love drop servicing because once I found this business model, it was the only one that had such high profit margins everything else the profit margins were really low and you know the clients are happy too right so John in this situation is happy because he's saving money and you're happy because you're making money and the freelancers are happy because they're making money so these numbers are just estimates by the way guys and will of course vary based on the drop servicing business model you create but this should give you a general overview of the basic principle behind drop servicing so this drop servicing business model can be used for content writing design video animation, web development, lead generation, copywriting, essentially any service that can be fulfilled over the internet. There are five steps for building a drop servicing business, okay? Finding competitors and studying their business models. Step two is finding teams that can deliver the service at a cheaper price than your competition. Step number three is creating a compelling offer. Step number four is building the marketing channels to bring in new customers. And then you have step number five, which is automating the entire process to free your time and service more customers in the most efficient way possible. So the next question here is how much does it cost to start drop servicing? So you don't need any money to start a drop servicing business, guys, which is awesome, right? But as with every business, the more money and resources you have to deploy, the easier and quicker you'll be able to grow a business, right? That said, all you need is an email address. As the founder, your role is to communicate between your clients and your team. Thankfully, email is free, right? Some of the fundamental things you'll need for a drop servicing business are a website. So I've got some links below this video for some of the tools that you can use to build your drop servicing business, by the way. So we've got website or WordPress, Theme Forest, Thrive Architect, where you're gonna build your website, you have domain and hosting, which essentially just hosts your website, right? So Namecheap or Bluehost, custom email addresses, so you can have your business name at the end of the email address. So your name at your business name.com, right? Then you can choose your business name using things like Namelix, Shopify business name generator, Panabee. Realistically, these basics shouldn't set you back more than a few hundred dollars at most to get your first sales. And having the basics makes you look more professional and trustworthy, right? Even if you do make a sale via email without a website, you're going to eventually need an established drop servicing website to help you automate your business. So eventually you can hire a project manager to automate communication between your team and the client so you can achieve 100% automation. This is made possible through software and people taking you out of your business. So in the beginning, you might run a lot of the things in your drop servicing business yourself so you can keep all of the profit for yourself and spend as little money as possible. But as you start Start to get sales, you'll automate more and more of the business, taking yourself out of the business so it runs without you there, and that's what gives you that freedom that you're after. So the next question we have here is what can you drop service? Well, anything, you know. <laughs> In general, the more simple the service you offer, the easier it is to automate the repeatable steps involved in its production. So while any online business can be drop serviced, you likely end up either in design and creative fields, writing or sales and marketing, 
as they are by far what dominates the online service industry today, guys. The most demand out there for them, so it's much easier for you to get sales. So I've got some drop servicing business ideas for you here as well. And these are based on my own experience drop servicing myself all these years. So these are great ones that are working right now based on what I've seen in my own research. So you've designed and creative, uh, art and illustration, graphic design, animation, you have writing, so editing and proofreading, content writing, blog writing, copywriting, technical writing, then you have sales and marketing, so things like search engine optimization or SEO, lead generation, social media management, market research, email marketing, and the list goes on, but these are some of the best ideas that you can use right now. So the next question I have here is where can you find people to hire for your drop servicing business? Well, the best place to find drop service freelancers, obviously, is a freelancer website, right? Where the freelancers hang out, so these freelancer marketplaces that are out there. On these websites, freelancers have profiles you can view and select from based on different categories. So you can also post a specific job and have freelancers apply to your job posting. And some examples of freelancer marketplaces that I've included as links below this video are Fiverr, Freelancer, ProBlogger, Upwork, Student Job Boards, right? People Per Hour. These are great places where you can find great freelancers to deliver high quality services at a low cost for your drop servicing business. Now you're probably wondering, right? which should I choose? Well, it's a great question. The marketplace you choose will depend on which service you're offering, right? Fiverr and freelance.com tend to be the cheaper options, but this generally entails lower quality services. And then student job boards can be great to find really cheap native speaker freelancers, right? And then Upwork is the largest freelance marketplace. And on this platform, you can find some very high quality freelancers from all categories, including writing, marketing, um, design, whatever it may be, web development, so on and so forth. Overall, Upwork and Fiverr are the best places to start. You'll find everything you need there. But before hiring someone, it's important to review their profile, feedback ratings, the number of years of experience they have in their fields, and of course the price that they're going to be charging you, right? It's super important. So focus on high quality reviews and look for someone who replies quickly in a professional manner and is enthusiastic about helping you. Don't rush the hiring process. It's really worthwhile investing some time to ensure you're bringing on high quality freelancers who are committed to helping your business in the long term because you're not just outsourcing work to freelancers guys and drop servicing you're building a real business with a real team that's going to be working with you for years and years and years okay that's how you build a real business you don't just purchase fiverr gigs or something like that okay so as shown below i've even put a search filter for animators on upwork.com and without even looking i found a freelancer that animates 13 dollars per hour with a 98 percent job rate success score over 251 one job so that's pretty crazy right there's bound to be much cheaper freelancers too if you spend more time looking of course so the next most commonly asked question is is drop servicing profitable and if it's done right drop servicing is very very profitable as I was telling you guys so how profitable you will be depends on your ability to package and sell your service but hiring cheap freelancers is only part of the equation guys you still must deliver a high quality service if you don't you may land a sale or two but you will not get repeat business and repeat business is where you can make a lot of money especially with services that are required regularly right so clients paying you month after month for example one of my drop servicing businesses I get a 30% repeat buyer rate that's pretty high right so it's essentially a flywheel the more clients you get the more sales you get and it just scales and scales and scales if you're delivering a high quality service at a cheap price and you're marketing your service to the right people, you'll make an amazing profit. Now, the next most common question is, is drop servicing worth it, right? So this can mean many things, um, but what I figured out was, you know, this is the best answer for you. Drop servicing is especially easy to start as you don't need to know how to produce the service you're selling, right? You leave that to the freelance team, so the experts. And if you stay consistent and follow the right steps, it's possible and realistic to expect that you can make enough money to replace a full-time job, if not even more, without investing the typical 40 hours per week that accompanies a normal job. So it's important to remember that while drop servicing is legitimate and can be lucrative, you do have to put in the work and stay committed to your business to ensure it grows, especially
especially in the beginning stages, right? Pretty obvious. So to succeed, you need to focus on acquiring customers and drop servicing at the cheapest price possible and give them an offer they can't refuse. The bottom line is that drop servicing is great because you don't do the grunt work, but you reap the benefits. At the same time, the customer, freelancer, and you are all happy, right? That's the most important thing at the end of the day. And that's the great thing about drop servicing. You know, at the end of the day, the clients are happy, you're happy, and your team is happy. Everyone in the equation is happy, and it's a win-win situation. Another commonly asked question is, is drop servicing even possible, right? Drop servicing is possible. You can see that by all of the results that we've shown you from ourselves, our students, and other drop services out there too, right? If there is demand, there is a supply. So all that is required is for you to supply a service that's in demand and position yourself so that you beat the competition and make a profit. It's as simple as that. In life, there's this pervasive perception that you go to school, go to university, and then hopefully get a job related to your degree. While there is nothing wrong with working hard at a job and earning money, it's possible to live with more freedom and be free from the constraints of a boss's schedule. While drop servicing won't turn you into an overnight success and some degree of work is required, it is not difficult to earn enough money to live comfortably without having to work typical full-time hours. You just have to put the work in up front to automate your drop servicing business and have other people's time work for you. There are so many opportunities out there and drop servicing allows us to inject ourselves into the virtual economy and get a slice of the action. And this thing is just growing and growing and growing and the opportunity only gets bigger and bigger by the day. So what even makes drop servicing possible? Well, first of all, you have freedom of communication. You can contact companies to connect with your team that delivers a service they need. This team works for you and you have a project manager who manages the communication between the two. Next, you have freedom of location. So you can live wherever you want because your drop servicing business model is fully online, right? Allowing you to move around and work from multiple locations. And then you have freedom of time. So not only can you work where you want, but you can work when you want because your business is completely remote. You can remove yourself with people and software and this gives you total freedom and you don't even need to spend the majority of your day monitoring and managing business processes. So the next question is why does drop servicing work? Okay, well, it's pretty obvious, right? Companies need external help. They spend billions of dollars on the services they need. In many cases, it simply doesn't make sense for them to hire employees for specific services that they can outsource work for a fixed price. Furthermore, many companies need services that they simply don't have the knowledge and skills to do themselves. It's too much effort for them to build the infrastructure for a specific service when they can just hire experts to do it daily for other companies companies, when they can just hire experts that do it daily for other companies. Most companies even have a dedicated budget for these types of services every quarter, and they need to spend that budget or else their bosses will take it away from them. So you're probably wondering though, why would these companies work with you? Well, it comes down to pretty simple economics. I mean, if you're able to provide a service for them at a similar level of quality to other service providers at a low price, then the logical option for them is to work with the cheaper service. Even though your freelancers are on a site like Upwork, Fiverr, it doesn't mean that your clients will go looking for the same freelancers on those marketplaces. Companies prefer to work with other companies because it's easier for them and other companies seem more trustworthy. Companies delivering services have proven systems and processes which provide certainty, reliability, and consistency. In drop servicing, you are the marketer, okay? And that means you're presenting and positioning your service in the best way in comparison to your competitors. So another great question we have is how big is the drop servicing market, right? And this is a fun one to answer because it's huge. The US business service sector consists of about 410,000 establishments with combined annual sales of around $770 billion. So using data we've collected, we estimate the market to be around $1.2 trillion with estimates of up to $5 trillion when including factors such as market share, of unlisted companies. The takeaway 
is that the service industry is enormous and there's no shortage of opportunity to get a slice of this money circulating by positioning yourself in the right place and providing a valuable and competitive offer. Even though this market is enormous, it's always growing, especially as our world moves more and more online. So once you learn how to create a drop servicing system for yourself, you can apply it to other services, reinvest your profits and scale. You know, you can continue to expand and grow multiple systems and scale horizontally and vertically. So what is the future of drop servicing? Well, as the structures and systems of companies become more remote and more digital, they encounter greater efficiencies, meaning lower costs. So every business has a primary goal of maximizing profits, right? You all know that. And by working with remote and digital structures, companies save time and money through increased efficiency. So the trend of companies becoming more remote over the last five years is growing and will continue to grow and it's going to grow considerably in the future meaning it's getting bigger and bigger more exponential so companies are far from being completely digital but this transformation is happening quickly and more companies are making the transition to having more of the infrastructure become digital especially right now right so this is a selling point for drop services most employees state they want to work remotely and remote employees save companies money they increase profits it's really a win-win for the companies so the issue is that many companies don't know how to go remote and as a drop servicer you can command a massive amount of work from companies who want to transition to a more virtual structure so the next important question is how to start a drop servicing business okay so while there's a lot to do getting started is really the easiest part. There are some consistent steps all drop services go through in their journey, and it starts by first of all, find a service that's selling well in the market. So for example, writing, web design, or video animation are some great options, and there's no need to reinvent the wheel. I mean, there's so much demand that there's room for you to squeeze in and provide a service, especially because you're undercutting local businesses' prices and creating a compelling offer. No one drop servicing business can handle all of the demand because they are constrained by the number of people in their team right so that's why there's so many drop servicing businesses and there's always room for more to enter because demand is expanding faster then new companies are popping up number two you want to research what other competitors are doing in the market so find competitors and answer the following questions what are their prices how do they structure their offers what pain points do they focus on for their customers how are they marketing their services what's their traffic like where is their traffic coming from okay then once you've answered those questions you want to research what freelancers are doing so you want to answer questions you know check the top Upwork freelancers in the market you're targeting how do they position themselves who are they working with who have their biggest projects been with answer those questions and then move on to number four okay determine margins so to get your margins take the competitor price and subtract the average freelance price for example if your competitor price is five thousand dollars for a website and your freelancer price is one thousand dollars your potential profit margin is four thousand dollars right and perhaps you undercut your competitor by one thousand dollars for the same quality website meaning you're still receiving three thousand dollars on your one thousand dollars invested into your freelancers labor that's pretty insane profit margins right and then number five once you've got all those steps sorted out it's just market 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 okay scale up your number of clients by putting out more offers into the market once you have proven that your offers are working and it's competitive enough to create demand that's relatively easy to close on then it's time to scale and automate your business model so number six of course is automate the entire process to get your freedom okay automate your process so that you have an a to z process from introducing a new client into your funnel to delivering their goods refine and optimize this process to save time using people and software as you pull in more clients into your drop servicing business model so the most important thing I want to give to you guys here as well is you know copy the competition we're not here to reinvent the wheel as drop services we never reinvent the wheel there's already systems out there that are working and we simply need to backward engineer those systems and make them work for ourselves so one of the biggest mistakes people make is focusing on what they think people want what you should do is focus on what's already working in the market this is why it's so important to do a competitor analysis to understand what's working for your successful competitors and why it's working doing something that's never been done before might work but the chances are it won't when you're using your competitors as a guide you're 
using data has proven to give a return and your chances of success are a lot higher. And it's simple to find your competitors and just search for the service you're providing on Google and type service after it. For example, you can search content writing service, proofreading service, logo design service, branding service, or sales video service, right? So create a list of your competition and then from there, see what's working and why it's working. Find the common trends between them, reverse engineer their process so you take the guesswork out of what your potential customers are receptive to, right? Then focus on changing your offer to be more compelling and competitive than your competition within the same framework of their business model to generate profit and sales. So you don't need to create the next Facebook or Uber or Google, right? To live a life of freedom. With financial independence and location independence, that's what most people are after, right? And some people are even hesitant to start because they have the idea in their head that they need a revolutionary idea to start a successful business. But don't fix what's not broken, right? Focus on a specific service and niche. One common mistake is thinking you can do everything. Well, there are businesses out there that follow the drop servicing model and do everything from web design to video, you must focus on one service or variations of one service when you first start. So you have that focus, right? You don't want to spread yourself too thin and not get anything achieved. You want to focus on one thing. For example, your business can focus on writing or you can have a business that focuses on video animation. You can even focus on a more specific niche to give yourself a competitive advantage, such as copywriting instead of content writing. Either way, it's important not to go too broad at at least in the beginning. Preferably pick a service you have experience in. If you used to be a web designer, then follow a web design drop servicing model is probably a good idea, right? Because you've got experience, you'd understand the nuances of conversation in this industry, etc. However, you don't need to have any experience in the industry itself as you're not the one producing the service guys. Your freelancers are the experts, right? You're simply the middleman between the freelancer and the client. So another important and common question is is how to build a drop servicing team. Well, number one is you wanna hire freelancers on a project basis. So to start your team, you need to hire employees, but hiring employees means you're paying them consistently when you don't necessarily have clients paying you consistently to fulfill their salaries, right? That would be risky. But what makes more sense for risk mitigation is to hire on a project by project basis. Have a pool of freelancers ready, a list of freelancers ready, and when you close with a client, Client, you can commission the freelancer by paying a fixed price for the project that you've already discussed with them beforehand. As mentioned before, Upwork and Fiverr are great options to start with. They'll allow you to only spend money when it's giving you a return on your investment. When you have a project, that's the only time you're spending money in drop servicing. Typically, you can pay 50% upfront for a project and 50% on completion, though the structure of your payments may depend on the project and the freelancer. So 50-50 tends to be the simplest and most fair approach, especially for larger projects, while paying after the work is completed is typical for smaller commissions. So other tasks such as project management can be more suited for per hour payment, right? So there's different ways of doing it and you can really adjust it based on what you're doing. But step number two is hire a freelancer full-time. If you have consistent repeat business, you can bring on freelancers full-time. This way you can save money as you'll likely pay less with an hourly rate or regular salary instead of contracting work. You should only hire full-time and regular freelancers on payroll though if you have the work to support it. So that's more the long term. And then number three, I mean, if you want, you can even have your own office and team, right? It's completely optional. You may want to have an office and team or maybe you want a fully remote team forever. It's really up to you. While having a remote team is a great option, growing a team in your in-house office is a possibility too. It's up to you and your personal preference, the point is that drop servicing gives you the freedom to make your own choices, right? So how do you grow your own income from $0 to $10,000 per month with drop servicing? Well, in the drop servicing blueprint, there's a module where we build a brand new business from scratch and screen record every single step of the process so you can see how it's done from start to finish. $10,000 can seem pretty daunting and maybe even an unreachable number, but it's not. Does $1,000 seem more realistic? That can be a 
good goal to start with, right? From there, you need to figure out how many clients you need to get to $1,000 or $10,000, whatever your goal is. To get to $10,000, all you need is 10 $1,000 clients per month, right? That's an easy way to think about it if the number seems high. If you keep 50% of your clients after one month, then you only need two months of closing 10 clients per month to get to $10,000. After that, you just need to maintain clients, which may only require three to four sales per month to hit that target income number. So if your service sells for $500, then you need 20 sales. And if your service sells for $5,000, then you only need two sales. Figure out how many sales you need for your desired monthly revenue and then reverse engineer what's required so you can create sales targets for you and your team. So the next question that I have here is how to find high paying clients, high ticket clients with drop servicing. Well, one good practice is cold emailing decision makers. It's very cheap to do so compared to paid advertising and you can use LinkedIn Sales Navigator to customize searches and find the decision makers of companies. It's an extremely useful tool and it allows you to search for people People based on their job titles, the business that they work with, company size, and other factors that will help you create custom lists of potential customers. So you can message them on LinkedIn or use tools to validate their email addresses and contact them that way. Here's a simple process you could follow. Create specific search criteria on LinkedIn Sales Navigator. So for example, job title, founder, company size, one to 10, search term, digital agency or design agency, countries, US, Canada, etc. Right now, you'll have a list of founders and CEOs of small to medium sized design agencies, and then you can set up campaigns with cold email templates that you can A B test to determine what works best for gaining positive replies from decision makers that need your service. You could send 100 emails with one template, 100 with a second template, and 100 with a third template. Right then, you analyze the results and determine which email gets the best open rates, replies, and click through rates and conversions. Repeat the steps and use the email template that performs best. So you're essentially doing continuous testing and choosing the one that's working best and then using that one, testing more and continuously refining and improving your metrics to get more sales at a lower price. So here's some important notes on cold emailing as well. It's crucial to warm up a new email address, meaning you shouldn't create a new email address and then start sending hundreds of emails or else your emails will likely go to spam. And it's also advisable not to use the email address with your actual website domain, so .com, you might want to set up one at .co, for example, because you don't want to risk having your legitimate domain email flagged for spam. If your website's called designagency.com, you can buy the domain designagency.co or another domain extension variation and use that address instead as john at designagency.co. You can use mailwarm.com to warm up your email or simply start with a small amount of emails and gradually increase the amount you send daily. So 10 emails per day in week one, 20 emails per day in week two, and so on and so forth. So if you're doing things right and writing emails that aren't spam, you shouldn't worry too much. When developing emails, remember that you're speaking to humans and you should keep things short and concise as decision makers are really busy people, right? They're running companies. So in this video, I also wanted to go a little bit deeper into one of the drop servicing case studies that you guys loved, right? So we're gonna get into Superside, which is a design drop servicing company. So Superside is a large and established design company that follows the drop servicing business model. They offer a wide range of services related to design, including web and mobile design, PowerPoint presentation design, and much more. Superside is specifically targeting agencies, startups, and enterprise teams, meaning they're providing large quantities of work. And Superside is obviously a large and established company, right? So it's not likely in your best interest to try and serve such a wide variety of services in the same capacity as they do, at least in the beginning. Regardless, they serve as a good example of a drop servicing model. So when a client is browsing through any website, including Superside, they're going to be looking at three factors, right? Quality, reliability, and price. So here's how Superside effectively showcases these qualities to increase the probability of a potential customer buying into their services. So Quality. Quality is determined by the service you're providing. In this case, there is a menu option called Our Work, which showcases previous 
examples of design work completed by the SuperSide team, with options to categorize the work so that potential customers can find portfolio examples most similar to their desired projects. These examples give a client an accurate understanding of the quality of the product that they can expect when working with this business, right? So you can have examples, you could have case studies if you were doing advertising, there's all kinds of options you can do that provide that quality. And then you have reliability, right? Reliability is one of the most important qualities for onboarding a new client, especially if they're discovering the content for the first time and don't have a solid understanding of the business's reputation. Essentially, it's the question of why should we trust you, right? So as shown on the SuperSide website, there's a menu section for testimonials which shows real comments from various previous clients happy with the quality of the service. And when you begin, you may not have any examples of work, so you can offer cheaper prices to help onboard new clients in return for a testimonial. For the longevity of your business though, it's not recommended to write fake reviews, you want to get real reviews for your business, right? And then you have price, okay? Price is one of the most important qualities. If your price is too high, people will not buy from you. And likewise, if your price is too low, people will presume the quality is bad. So what SuperSide has been able to do is they provide pretty high prices these days, but the prices are still low compared to the usual agency. And when they started out, they did have lower prices. And this is what we recommend you do with drop servicing too, is you can just scale up your prices over time as you have more examples and you have more reliability. Now on your website as well, you want to explain the process to potential customers. You want to take out as much ambiguity as there is as possible. You want to make it really understandable on your website, right? So you need to have an in-depth detailed process of what they're going to experience when they work with you. And SuperSite has that as well, right? They explain the process from buying to the production and delivery. And then even when your potential clients get on a call with your sales team, they can also take them through the process too. Remember as well, I mean, you want to offer discounts, you want to offer all kinds of different offers in order to get potential clients to want to buy with you right now. You need to give them a reason to buy with you right now. And that's something you can do pretty easy with drop servicing because we have such low prices compared to our competitors, right? Which enables us to use those low prices as reasons that the client should buy. So you could say, hey, look, usually our prices are as high as X competitors price, but right now we're offering a 50% discount and that's why our price is so low. And what that does is it removes the kind of question of why are you so cheap? And it gives them a reason to want to buy right now because you're going to tell them, you know, the sale, this 50% discount or whatever is only going on for one week. So the next question is, should I take a drop servicing course? Okay. And I mean, it's worth, and of course I would say <laughs> it's well worth it taking a course in drop servicing. Why? Because it saves you money and it saves you time. Instead of spending months trying to figure out what to do and how to do it, you can take a course that explains step by step how to grow your drop servicing business. It's possible to learn the necessary skills in drop servicing and you could do it on your own, but it would take a lot longer, right? Why not take a course where you have personal coaching from people that have been doing it for five years, driving six figures of revenue across their drop servicing businesses, showing you while you look over their shoulder, click by click, how to build one of these drop servicing businesses, right? So for example, why would a client hire you instead of directly hiring a freelancer from Upwork? That would be a question, for example, right? Well, it's being able to answer questions like this that will help you position yourself correctly as a business that will enable you to close large larger deals and grow your business. That's why a drop servicing course is super worthwhile if you're serious about turning a drop servicing business into an automated source of revenue. So the drop servicing blueprint is currently the most comprehensive drop servicing course available. I mean, just look at some of the comments from the people in the course, look at some of the results from the people in the course. This is the best community out there on drop servicing bar none. And I've seen all of them and some of my students have been in some of the other drop servicing communities. And for sure, you can try them out if you want, um, but I'm just saying ours is definitely the best based on the feedback I've seen from people and all of the other ones as well and um, what our students are able to achieve is pretty amazing so yeah if you're looking to enter a drop servicing course and community obviously uh, I would recommend ours I'm a bit biased but just look at what other people are saying right and uh, if you want to do it yourself that's cool too you know just follow along with our free YouTube content um, we're trying to help you guys do it that way as well and bottom line you know drop servicing is a simple and underrated business model that you can take advantage of 
job today. There are people and companies out there who need services and you can be the person to provide them with that service for a profit. So there's no better time to start job servicing, building a life of financial freedom for yourself than right now, guys. And the world is going online quicker than ever before, as you're seeing, right? So drop servicing is one of the quickest ways to start making money online within a short period without needing to invest too much time learning new skills. So that's the end of the presentation, guys. I basically answered every question we've received, all of the most common questions anyway. And if you have any additional comments or questions or topic ideas that you want me to cover, I'll personally answer you if you comment below. And I might even make a video on that topic or question that you have. But otherwise, look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. And don't forget to start making some offers, get some sales in your drop servicing business, and let's crush it.